to be here with you. Look, I know you guys like candy. I mean, who doesn't? I know I love candy, but do you know that eating too much candy and sugar can cause really big problems like cavities in your teeth. Ugh. So today, I want to tell you guys about when God told Solomon not to eat or do too much of something. But before we check it out, let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for today. We are so excited to hear about today's story. I think it's going to be fun. But Lord, we pray for you to bless our heart, bless our mind to hear your stories. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story. Inspired by the book of Proverbs, chapter 25, verse 16. Adeline and her younger brother Zeke had been waiting weeks for this particular Saturday. It's here! Yes day! Every year, their parents declared a yes day, where they would say yes to anything Adeline and Zeke wanted to do with a few rules. We're not spending more than $15 each on anything other than meals. And we're not doing anything that could hurt you or anyone else. Can we have donuts for breakfast? Yes. A and ice cream? Yes. <gasps> with whipped cream and gummy bears? Yep. Yes! Fueled by this sugar rush, Zeke and Adeline had energy to burn. 
Can we have a family water battle? Oh, kids against parents. Absolutely. The kids' super soakers were beating their parents' water balloons until Dad busted out the water hose. Hey, you can't use the house. Yes, do everything. Okay, fine. Pizza from Pizzano's for lunch. And monster cookies. Can I make them all by myself, please, please, please? Yes, and yes. Dad and Adeline rode scooters to the store to get cookie ingredients. Yes! While Mom and Zeke took bikes to get pizza. Oh, uh, yeah! Pretty sure that me riding a scooter half a mile is gonna hurt someone. Probably me. It's sidewalk the whole way, Dad. Back at home, Adeline concocted the monster cookies with all the add-ins. Chocolate chips, M&M's, peanut butter, toffee bits, candy corn, crushed pretzels. Are you sure that's gonna taste okay? Yes. When the giant cookies were out of the oven and cooled, everyone had to agree. Mmm, these are actually amazing. Zeke and Mom could only give thumbs up as they chew. After lunch, Dad and Zeke said yes to an epic battle of Ultra Luigi together. Well, Mom said yes to a nap. Adeline planned to say yes to a new episode of Super Chef Junior, but as she was leaving the kitchen, she paused and looked back at the plate of monster cookies. They did turn out awesome. It almost seemed as if those gooey cookies were calling her name. Adeline! Adeline! Well, it is yes day. Adeline grabbed another cookie for now, and for while she watched Super Chef Junior. When Adeline finished her episode and the cookies, she passed through the kitchen to find Zeke and Dad. Adeline. Yes? The cookies seemed to smile at her with candy-coated faces. Well, yes, just one more. In the rec room, Dad and Zeke were still battling it out. He says you want play? Adeline wanted to say yes, but... Her stomach felt a little queasy, and the flashing screen made her head spin. Uh, I'll just sit this one out. Don't suppose you could bring us a couple of those incredible cookies? Um, sure. In the kitchen, Adeline put two giant cookies on a paper plate. Adeline. Okay, fine. Even though her stomach didn't feel great, Adeline just couldn't resist that wonderful, chewy, cookie bite and candy crunch. She finished off yet another cookie on her way down to the rec room. Here you go. Thanks, sweetie. Hey, are you okay? Adeline grabbed her stomach as it churned. Her mouth felt sour. Yes. Um, no. Adeline sat down quickly on the sofa, but the storm in her stomach grew. She bolted off of the sofa and headed straight for the bathroom. It didn't take long for all those cookies, not to mention pizza, ice cream, and donuts to come right back up. Dad rushed in to help. Oh, sweetie, I, I know we've said yes to a lot of sugar today, but just how many cookies did you eat? Um, I'm not sure too many. Whoa, that is seriously disgusting. Mom was right behind Zeke. Adeline? I'm feeling better now, Mom. Honest, just too many cookies. Once they were back in the rec room, Dad shook his head. You're a walking proverb. You mean proverbs in the Bible? Sure. There's this great one that says, if you find honey, eat just enough. If you eat too much of it, you will throw up. Ugh, true story. Yeah, did you put honey in the cookies? No, it doesn't have to be honey. It can be anything. I was going to ask what everyone wants for dinner, but... Toast, applesauce. Affirmative. I guess sometimes you gotta say no, even on yes day. Adeline's yes day hadn't gone quite the way she imagined, but at least she discovered a new skill to work on, knowing when to stop. You see guys, Adeline ate too many cookies and it made her stomach really upset. A similar thing also happened in the Bible when God warned Solomon that eating too much honey can cause him to vomit. Ugh. We need to know when to stop and take or do something just enough so that it doesn't harm us. Today's key passage comes from Proverbs 25 verse 16 and it says, If you find honey, eat just enough. Too much of it? 
and you will vomit. Let's say one more time, guys. If you find honey, it just enough. Too much of it, and you will vomit. Good job, everyone. It's quiz time. First question, everybody. What did God tell Solomon not to eat too much of? Is it honey, candy, or vegetables? Is it vegetables? <sighs> yup, it's honey. Second question. What will happen if we eat too much honey or cookies like Adeline did? Do you get a lot of energy and run around? Or you vomit because your stomach's upset or you get sleepy? <sighs> yep, you will vomit because your stomach's upset. Oh, it's not a good situation, everybody. All right, last question. What is the important lesson for today? Eat everything you see or don't eat at all or just eat enough? This one is easy, guys. Yep, just eat enough. Good job, everyone. Well, that's it for today, kids. Thank you for spending your Sunday with us. Remember, we have our daily contents from Mondays to Fridays and Sundays. Well, we'll see you in our Zoom classes later this afternoon. Before we go, let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for reminding us that we need to have the right self-control and do something. We don't want to do too much, but give us the wisdom how to have that control. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye, everyone.